the beautiful Grand Ballroom of the Four Seasons Hotel in Sydney, Australia. It's the 21st Annual Ethnic Business Awards with your Master of Ceremonies for the evening, Ms. Tracy Spicer. Brought to you by NAB, Etihad Airways, Telstra, MBF, The Doric Group, Austrade, Council of Small Business of Australia and the Department of Immigration and Citizenship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Tracy Spicer. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge that our celebration this evening is being held on Aboriginal land. And I want to recognise in particular the strength, the resilience and the capacity of the Cadigal people, the traditional owners. I have to say it's an enormous pleasure and indeed a privilege to again be your host this evening for the 2009 Ethnic Business Awards. Like everyone here, I stand absolutely in awe of the amazing achievements of these people and indeed of the achievements of all the more than 1,500 nominees for this year's awards. Can you believe that? 1,500. It's absolutely astounding. They come from every state and territory in Australia, but they originate from 102 different countries. I think that's very nearly representative of the entire globe. The growth rate and sheer scale of this event is a testament not only to the hundreds of new Australians who've been nominated, but also to the Ethnic Business Awards themselves. Now in their 21st year, the awards are one of the longest running corporate awards in Australia and one of the country's most prized recognitions of commercial endeavour. Their prestige has attracted guests and speakers from the entire spectrum of business, politics and society at large. That's you. And you'll be joined tonight by a huge international television audience as once again the event is broadcast right around the world. Our broadcast partners include SBS, the Aurora Community Channel, the Australia Network, TVB Jade World. And our media sponsors include El Telegraph, Indian Link, the Sydney Korean Herald, the 1688 Chinese Newspaper Group, Sing Tao, Chu Duong, and Neos Cosmos. It gets bigger and bigger every year. This year, our founding and major sponsor, the National Australia Bank, is again joined by our friends at Etihad Airways, Telstra, Austrade, the Department of Immigration and Citizenship, MBF, the Council of Small Business of Australia, the Doric Group and the Design Awards. And thanks too to Astra Limousines and to the beautiful Four Seasons Hotel. We don't have time tonight, unfortunately, to tell you about all 1,500 nominees. We wish we did, or we'd be running longer than the Oscars. In fact, I look a bit like a female version of an Oscar tonight, don't I, in my beautiful gold Carla Zampatti dress. How about a big round of applause for the wonderful Carla Zampatti? Now, we're down to 10 finalists tonight, five in each of the two categories, and of course we wish all of them the very best of luck. And I'm sure that was the sentiment when the nominations were handed to the judges. Good luck sorting this one out. What a mammoth task. Let me introduce to you those people who dedicated an enormous amount of time, energy and no doubt stress to the process of choosing our finalists and of course our winners. The judges of these awards, please express your thanks to a professional director and business consultant specialising in strategic project management and business solution implementation, chairman of Mercer's, Mercer's trustee company and a director of the Australian Unity Group, Pillar Australia and Booking.com. In her 12th year as a judge for the Ethnic Business Awards, the delightful Eve Crestani. Foreign Policy Advisor in the Office of Prime Minister Paul Keating from 1993 to 1996, an Officer of the Order of Australia and now Director General of the Office of National Assessments, a renowned writer and speaker on Australian foreign policy and the development of global and regional institutions, Mr Alan Gingell.
a former chief executive of Telstra, Optus and Kodak Australasia, currently chairman of Opera Australia and the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation, how eclectic is that, a PhD graduate of the University of Melbourne and a fellow of the Academy of Technological Sciences and Engineering, Dr Ziggy Switkowski. And next, one of Australia's fashion pioneers, recognised with a number of Australian and international awards of achievement and excellence, a companion of the Order of Australia and commendatore in the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. A dedicated and hard-working judge for the Ethnic Business Awards since its inception, in fact, in 1988. The designer of my gorgeous dress tonight, Carla Zampatti. Now, our fifth judge, Mr Don Argus, is unfortunately unable to be with us tonight. Mr Argus is an erstwhile CEO and Managing Director of the National Australia Bank and Chairman of BHP Billiton. An officer of the Order of Australia, Don has been a long-time supporter of migrants' contributions to our country's economic, cultural and social fabric. Our thanks to him, too, and to all of our judges, a bex and a good lie down, I think. <laughs> Clearly you were set a near impossible task and from everyone here and from our international audience, our sincere thanks and our appreciation. You know, I was thinking uh, last night, in a way, the job of judging these awards is a reflection of the very things and people the judges have been asked to consider. They've had to undertake a massive, sometimes daunting task requiring vision, decisiveness and application. Massive effort culminating in success that's hard to quantify. And isn't that what this evening celebrates? I think so. Tonight is about people who've come to this country chasing their dreams looking for new opportunities, striving to meet each and every challenge, and finally, succeeding. We're here in the magnificent grand ballroom of Sydney's Four Seasons Hotel to celebrate that success. And what better way to kick things off than with a song specially written for this event? Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the incredibly talented, internationally acclaimed Joel Saracula and his song, Mystery. This is our chance we're leaving today to head for the Stop you from shining on me. I know there's so much for us to see. So take all your fears and throw them away. Get all the pain out of your back. Need open arms to hold us again. The future is coming. Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, Joe Saracula with Mystery and the gorgeous young ladies of the MLC Chamber Choir. How good was that? How about another round of applause for these lovely ladies? All right, now before the formal proceedings begin, enjoy your entrees. We'll be back soon with more great entertainment, some important speeches and of course our fantastic finalists. You are watching the 21st Ethnic Business Awards.